So melanoma is the third most common type of skin cancer, but melanoma is different than the first two most common types of skin cancer. There's basal cell and squamous cell carcinoma, which typically will grow locally and can be um, cured with surgery alone. Melanoma is a, a more aggressive type of skin cancer that has the potential to spread to organs and can be fatal in itself. Melanoma frequently occurs in areas that don't have that chronic low-grade sun exposure. They're in area, they can occur in areas where we get that short duration high intensity sun exposure. So in men, the most common place for melanoma is on the chest um, or the back area. In, the women, in women, the most common place for melanoma is on the legs, and especially we worry about the backs of the legs. But melanoma can happen on your soles, under your fingernails, on the bottom of your feet. And that's what tells us that the sun isn't responsible for all melanomas, but it's certainly responsible for most of it. So some of the characteristics that we tell patients to look for are the A, B, C, D, E's of moles. So A is asymmetry. If we see any mole that, if you draw an invisible line through the middle, does the right side look like the left side? And if it's not symmetric, that's something that should be evaluated. B is our border irregularity. So if we see nice smooth borders, that's what we want to see. But if we start seeing those jagged edges, and that should be looked at as well. C is color variegation. So what we want to see is a nice evenly pigmented mole. If you see one that has maybe a dark area or a light area or an area that looks purple, that should be evaluated. D is diameter. So we think about any mole greater than, um, think about kind of a pencil eraser diameter. This is probably the least helpful because melanomas can be smaller and very benign skin lesions can be larger. E, I think, is one of the most important, and that's any mole that's evolving. So anything that you see changing, if you start to see it change color, change size, start to raise up, then that absolutely should be evaluated. Other characteristics for sure that we worry about are if you have a mole that itches, or a mole that bleeds, or it's like a sore that doesn't heal, then those 100% need to be evaluated. I would say pretty much everyone should get their skin evaluated or their moles evaluated by their 20s. Um, however, if you have a family history of skin cancer or melanoma, if you have a lot of freckles or a lot of moles, if you are, have a skin type that's more prone to skin cancer, such as the, the light skin, light colored eyes, light colored hair, you would consider getting screened earlier. I see um, patients from 20 on up to 90 years old uh, with melanoma. And the key with it is if we find it early, it is extremely curable. You know, greater than 95% of patients will be cured when we catch it at an early stage. And that's not the case if we catch it later. Uh, and this can affect people of all ages. And we've seen this incidence of melanoma continuously rise over the past several decades. So it's so important that not only we start protecting our skin, but that we get full body skin exams, that we're getting to know our moles, we're looking for those characteristics that are concerning and getting those moles checked out so that we can find it at an early stage and, and cure it.